Hm. Cousin Jacob's farm for Labor Day. Homemade. What's your name? What's your name? My name is Ripley. <laughs> House Pig from Saget. <laughs> no one uses the outhouse. They just use the side of the outhouse. Happy first day of summer. Yeah, cheers. <laughs> There's a meme in that. There's a vegetarian here somewhere. <laughs> yes. what, what are these? What are you making? Bing's wings. Bing's, Bing's wings. wings. Bing's wings. There's a name. There's a word for it. <laughs> We've been missing a friend for hours, and we think he's passed out somewhere here. Well, there you go. Get marshmallows here. You put them on a stick, and you get them they kind of go on fire. Better shots has a hill. Does your Serbian village have a hill? Didn't think so. All the rocks have a shininess to them. So this is Teodor Church, St. Teodor, uh, Serbian Orthodox Church. Teodor was the Bishop of Vršac, who in 1594 led the Banat uprising against the Ottomans. He was ultimately captured by uh, Sinan Pasha of Temeshwar, Temeshwara. And, uh, skinned and then burned while still alive, until dead. This church is for him. Another church on a hill in Vršac. This is the oldest Catholic church in all of Banat region, and it's the second oldest building still standing in its original place in Vršac. It was built from 1720, Church of the Holy Cross. Mine, mine. First thing I look for is a sheep's milk or goat's milk. Uh, how much is it? 120. 120. For Sheep's cheese. This is the stuff. That's the stuff. Right and this is I get all my bacon from him too. Like I buy a whole chunk at a time. All the chunk. Bigs here. And uh veggie No, I need stuff like that. Oils, greases, boots. Toilet paper. I know people that come to this thing like every Saturday, the gypsy. This is the this is the stolen market section, the stolen goods market. <laughs> Very popular. You see the whole parking lot over there to the left? I saw this oh, build I saw this building from the hill. I was wondering what it was. This is uh, I don't know what they do, but I know this is where they take your car when it gets towed. Like if they take your car, they bring it back there. You see back there on the left? Yeah. That's where your car will be if it gets if it gets towed by the spider. That's what you're going to do. You can't get over this. Uh... He could, but he's not going <laughs> Yeah, so the offices. I have to tell you all the Opened 1784. So it operated for 200 years. The sub attic.
Yeah. Two liters of fresh cow milk from this morning reduced to this. This is uh, mozzarella esque. And this is. This is some German Wirtschafts canal engineering here from back in the day. Some more of the German canals redone. Wirtschafts used to be one big swamp until the Germans came and drained it out. These canals are part of that effort. Deswampify it. All these roads used to be cobblestone as well. So this is what the road used to look like. And here's the new road. So this is Vladimirovats, and you've heard of the Witch of Banat, Baba Onuka. She was born in Romania in the 1800s to a rich cattleman, and eventually settled with her dad here in Vladimirovats. And uh, she went to school in Panchevo. You know, she's a local girl. This late 1800s. She ended up killing up to 150 people with a, a potion she called magic water. She would sell it to the wives of abusive husbands. She was very popular with the ladies of this region. Ultimately, she was caught uh, after one of her repeat clients killed a rich uncle and the police uh, took note, took interest in the case. But this is where she lived, the Witch of Banat. You want to hear more? I can go on. Uh, she had 11 children. One of them reached adulthood. Uh, when she was convicted, I think it was 1929. She was like 90 years old. Um, she got out of jail after something like eight years due to old age. Her first love, her, the love of her life, was an Austrian military man, and uh, he gave her syphilis, left her brokenhearted. Yeah, shame. Now, this was part of the Austrian Empire back in the day. This was the, uh, the Banat Austrian military frontier of the Austrian Empire. And this is the house of the Banat Witch. Uh, they call her the world's most prolific serial killer. I don't know, if you make poison and wives use it to kill their husband, is that really you killing the husband? If I make a gun, Gun kills 150 people, did I do it? I don't know if I would really call her a serial killer. I don't know what this place is. Vladimirovats, 1957. There's an old nude. Bianca's afraid to come in. That says no smoking. Let's look at this a little closer. So this says the mill business company. So I guess it was a mill. Uniria, maybe the company name. That's a Romanian word that means union. There says Margaret Loney, L O N E Y, 23 years old. There's an old uh, horse powered ancient well in Vladimirovats. This looks like it would be a horse powered 
well. So when do you think Vershots last repaired the sidewalks on my street? Oh, 1966. These yellow bricks date the sidewalk as well. They're from uh, Austro-Hungarian times. I guess they were recycled. Think of the town of Pech, Hungary. Vershatz is a Muslim graveyard. There's a cross in the Muslim graveyard. Perhaps a mixed marriage. Now for a bit of Christian graves. Here's the grave of Bora Kostic. Uh, he's the first Serbian grandmaster chess player. He was born in Vershatz, 1887, died in Vershatz, 1963. Uh, they say he was one of the five strongest chess players in history. This is the grave of Sultana Chiluk, uh, born in Vershatz, 1871, died in Belgrade, 1935. She was a famous uh, opera and concert singer of the times. All right, so Dragon something Stankovic. Uh, he was born in Niš in 1884, and uh, it looks like he participated in the Serbian-Turkish War in 1912. Uh, he later commanded the defense of Vršac from the Nazis in 1941. I guess ultimately lost that one. He won a bunch of awards, uh, some Romanian medal, some American solidarity medal, Russian metal English a bunch of uh, a bunch of Yugoslav medals these are the parents Stephen and Ernestina Jovanovic of Vershat's uh, celebrity painter Paya Jovanovic this is Mila Matijic and she was the victim of fascism she had a public hanging in Panchevo 1942 she was 22 years old, put the noose around her own neck and threw herself back. Dragisha Brashovan, a uh, pioneer of Serbian modern architecture. He was born in Vershatz, uh, 1887 and died in Belgrade, 1965. All right, that's it for now. We'll get to the Jews another day. Hey, Mio. Yo. Where are you? Where are you taking us? Uh, Palanka. Palanka. Palanka for fish. Mm, on the Danube. And you have a lazy reaction. Community like this going on with a bunch of habits. We're pretty much on the border with Romania right now. Stara Palanka. He's like, he's like my daughter's a vegetarian too. She can't eat anything. Paprikash. <laughs> uh, fish soup. Talking about here? As soon as I'm done with this bowl of chorba, I'm gonna try the fish. Wow, this is what the... There's the car ferry. What is it, every 10 hours? That's a uh, chamomile. And that's Romania straight ahead. My buddy comes here and fucking gets these old pieces of driftwood. It dry makes sense to just get there for seven just days. Cooked pasta. I think it's not... It's fresh. Liquid. Ed had mentioned something. Is that a dentist? Six hours, you don't eat more than eight. Oh God, toilet's four kilometers away.
what the what's on the top? What he's talking about? So we're hiking to the mountain house today. This little hut in the middle of nowhere. Yeah. <laughs> I can do my belly. So this says uh, you can hunt here, land of the hunters. All these summer houses up here and a road that you can only use in the summertime. The Complete with electricity. <laughs> Finally, after a long and arduous hour-long walk, the mountain house. Last time I was here, it was closed, but today's Friday. Fingers crossed. Well, closed once again. Yet to see this place open. In fact, I don't think it's ever open. Have you ever seen it open? Not this year. All right, it's supposed to be open as of eight this morning, and uh, it's new. See if you have... Um... Uh, this is to wipe the clay off your boots. Our reward for a healthy walk up. Why not? Why shouldn't why shouldn't there be a tank here? This lake in Vershots is where my uncle, my uncle Bing, Uncle Javoing, used to go swimming when he grew up here as a kid. And there's Uncle Bing's favorite water slide. The lifeguard who rescued young Uncle Bing from drowning used to be perched up here. You know, at nighttime, young Uncle Bing used to come out here and set the lake on fire. Yeah, you can set the lake on fire. Serbian haircut looks like. There was an old brewery in Vershots like from around 1700. I saw a building, it said 1700s on it, and it's closed, it's abandoned. And I mentioned to one of my friends, it's a shame there's no brewery left in Vershots. There is, it's Romanian owned. Kruger and Brent, we're gonna go look at it today. Romanian, did you hear that? Yeah. I'm All right, the brewery is in Ritishevo. Pretty sure, that's the Romanian name for this town. Look at this. The car in Rittishore has Pennsylvanian plates. The town is like 80% Romanian ethnically. I think this is it. So we bought six beers for uh, 390 dinars. That's about $3.50. So a lot of houses in this village look like this. Look at the decoration. And uh, the brewery owner told us this is a German style, Bavarian style. So although the Germans disappeared after World War II, a lot of the German words remained in this village. Uh, the brewery owner said that all of the working tools they have, uh, they still refer to them by their German names. And the entrance to a house in this village is called Eingang, the German word for entrance. Wow, great abandoned house.
road is cobblestone. So this canal links the Tisa and the Danube rivers. Who knew? This is 13 minutes from our house in Verschutz. You got another cigarette? Yeah. Hand it over. Someone out there by the river is listening to the doors. Whenever you get married here, you get free gypsy music. They don't stop until you pay them, though. That's the catch. that someone at City Hall gets a commission for tipping off the uh, the Roma when a wedding's going to take place. Best javapi in all of her shots. So I'm in an old German house, and in a German house you have a shelf toilet. I wake up, I had like five seconds of that. That is not basil, but this is onion. Back on Jake's farm. Everything, there was no wetness, everything was still solid as a rock. Yeah, bitch! Yeah, 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 yeah. Oh! <laughs> it's not over yet, Diva. Oh! There's a little oh, ahead of your stomach. Oh, 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 boy! Oh, 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 Study! Opa! Iana! Bidi! Iana! Opa! Iana! 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 I hope so. Johan Held, the Germans were here. Serbian Verschatz and German Verschatz united in 1795, and uh, in 1859 they began building this city hall that I'm in right now. Once you get past the entrance, it turns into this.
nothing special. Back in the day before the Germans captured Wershatz in 1941, there were quite a few Jews in town. And of course, the Jews were killed by the Germans. There are none left now, but they did leave behind some of their buildings. Uh, for example, take a look at this one here. On the left side here, there would have been another stone representing the Ten Commandments. You see this on a lot of the buildings of Wershatz. And on this brick building, another representation of the stone tablets that Moses brought down from Mount Sinai. As far as I could tell, there were two synagogues in Wershatz. One of them is now a house. People are living there. I don't know if they're squatting there. They wouldn't let me take photos or videos of it, but I'm going to see if I can get a shot across the wall from this uh, metal factory here. And there it is. When the Germans captured Wershatz on the afternoon of April 11th, 1941, a group of Volksdeutsche, ethnic German citizens of the town, broke into the synagogue, picked up the Torah and other holy books, took them to a German casino and burned them in its yard. The Nazis then used this building as a prison for a time during the occupation. And as you can see, it's now someone's residence. A woman with two babies let me into the courtyard, but warned no pictures. So I was able to capture this view from over the wall in the metal factory next door. And I grabbed a few more shots from online. So the synagogue has actually reached through these gates here, says Leonardo, but uh, the gates are locked. From what I read, they found records in Timisoara that were dated in the 1700s that mentioned this synagogue. So that would make it a pretty old building, maybe the second oldest in Vershatz after the tower. So across from the synagogue or a prayer hall, which is through the gates behind me there, is Jewish Alley. Uh, it's not called Jewish Alley anymore. It's called Jura Danitsitze. But back in the day before World War II, it was Yevreski Sokak. Sokak is a Turkish word. It means street and Yevreski is Serbian for Jewish. Let's see if there's any Jewish houses left on Jewish Street. Here's one, maybe the only one. It's mostly newer construction on this street, but here you see the representation of the Ten Commandments. And the decoration around the windows kind of reminds me of the side curls that you'll see. The haircut style of the Orthodox Jews. And this one is not Jewish, but just gives you an idea of the kind of construction going on on this street. So this house is more like what you'd find in shtetls. It's the Hebrew word for town, but used for uh, any settlement or neighborhood of Jews in Eastern Europe, really. And with that, leaving Jewish Alley. That's a Roma house behind. Jewish house. And again, representation of the stone tablets on either side of the roof. Yeah. And then take it all the way up, and then you can. Uh, I, you see this? I, I, I can see everybody. I so, right? Yeah, I guess. I like that. Yeah. You just changed my life. <laughs> like, I don't know how to explain. I never met a character like you. In my life. Kiss me, kiss me. I will kiss me. <laughs> kiss me three times. <laughs> So Bobo was here. Yes. Bobo was here. Son of a bitch. <laughs> Can't go anywhere where Bobo hasn't been. 2013. Yeah. This. Sorry. <laughs> I'm sorry. The fuck do you want, Diana? I'm sorry. This, just this. This is very. Interesting plant, uh, we call it Hajdučka trava. 
and it uh, we made tea from this and this is the best thing for every kind of disease you have literally i think it cures aids or something it's not tonight anymore it's today <laughs> Meshitz. Now comes Kustio. The town is in a hole, so in the winter time, when it's icy, they can't escape. Yeah. Meet our tour guide. Hey, look at the road. Oh, okay, sorry, sorry. <laughs> okay. That's Romanian for welcome to uh, Kostai. Look at this church here. Open it up and say thank you Ottomans. Mm. Thank you Ottomans. Thank you Ottomans for 500 years of imprisonment. Or and Burek, isn't the 500 yeah. years worth this? Uh, I think so, honestly. Happy St. Theodore Day. And also... Happy St. Theodore. All right, today is uh, the feast of St. Theodore, May 29. And uh, Theodore was the bishop the Serbian Orthodox Bishop of Vershatz, who in 1594 led the Banat uprising against the, the occupying Ottomans. Um, Sinan the Great caught him, skinned him alive, and burned him to death. Later, uh, he had St. Sava's remains burned in Belgrade. That's Sinan the Great of Timisoara. Yes, go right. Go right. Yes. Oh, it's completely what I would not have expected. Down the hill. So Vershots goes nuts on this day, nuts. <laughs> They're running up a hill. The runners have begun their marathon up the stairs. One minute, five seconds into it. Taylor! <laughs> Bravo, 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 Here's all the people coming out of uh, St. Theodore Church. Happy St. Theodore. And there he is, St. Theodore of Bershatz. And some more free alcohol. Union wine comes from uh, Draskovich. Monica Vaida. Jurica Eltenjan. Ušači. Četvrtogodište. Legenda. Hvala Stavljica. Sada je to sam godina. To je taj... Did you know Vershatz has a Bob Marley statue about 20 minutes away in a village called Banatski Sokolats since the past 14 years, 2008? I tell you, I did not lie. He died at age 36 with 11 children.
In the same yard as the Bob Marley monument is a monument to uh, fallen Yugoslavs, World War II. And this one is for uh, the World War I fallen. What a beautifully decorated fountain here. What's that stain? Oh. And uh, my people tell me this door lock has been broken. I think all these articles and photos are from 2008 when they unveiled the Bob Marley statue. A Serbian village unveiled what it said was Europe's first statue to the late great Jamaican reggae star Bob Marley. Here's some of the posters advertising the, uh, the shows during the rock festival. MTV. This one's from 2013. The Germans left us kibitz fensters. These are those windows that you you bang into when you're drunk. I think there's got to be at least a hundred bars in this town, cafes. We've seen a few of them. Kojelika has the best uh, javapi, and uh, Koliba has the best juices. I think Buongiorno has the best coffee. That's where I'm gonna go now. Here's some more kibitz fensters. You know, the rumor around town is that the Germans would use these to advertise their marrying age virgin daughters. Others say it's so that the women could observe the street unseen, similar to uh, how the Ottomans used their balconies. Hello. Here we go, okay. Okay, best, best coffee and first shots. You see, what did I tell you? <laughs> ne. 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 Can't make a video about first shots without mentioning Domino Pizza. Not Domino's, Domino. Different logo, unrelated to the pizza chain. There's the Yugoslav era masterpiece, Hotel Serbia. So the armor of first shots, the shield of first shots, to this day features the severed head of a Turk. Now you know how to spell Vershats in Cyrillic. Behind me is a liquor store where you can also buy fireworks. It's a nice combo. Here's one of my favorite restaurants in Vershats, Dinar. Baby cow soup. It's a marathon. 
Yo! You take my life and I'll take yours too! It's 12 noon. It's called the Walk of Shame. Uh, for one of my last days in Vershots, I'm leaving Vershots and going to say the name of the town? Uh, Jitiste. Jitiste. Yeah. Uh, home of what Lonely Planet refers to as one of the top ten most bizarre monuments in the world, Rocky Balboa. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, yeah. You saw we're Bob Marley, see... now it's Rocky. Yeah. And we're also going to stop to see the Bob Marley one because I've never been there. You've before. already seen it, so I'm not going to bore you with that. But yeah, Bob Marley again and again and again. It's just part of normal Vershots routine. <laughs> Do I know how to show a girl a good time or what? <laughs> My brother Bob. She's in Canada right now. <laughs> but she's a singer. I went to school with her. Yeah, every lock is broken in this building. <laughs> Nothing interesting we can take. Everything is broken. That's why it's all still here. Yeah. It's perfectly safe. The Socialist Republic of Serbia. Is this an archive from when? Oh, this is 1990, but there's one from 82. These are birth certificates? Yes. <laughs> so we're gonna eat berries that you're allergic to? Yeah, just a bit, not uh, terribly allergic. Doot. Just shake it. Yeah? Delicious. World War II monument. And they put it up in 1956. White dude. So this is the Konak Elementary School, you're saying? Yes, yeah. Looks kind of abandoned though, doesn't it? Uh, I guess maybe this side is abandoned, but the other side, uh, it could be just a small school because there's not a lot of people here. <laughs> Is this a, this is a communist uh, playground. Workshop oh. doesn't have this. Workshop <laughs> doesn't have this. You gotta, you gotta get out, you gotta explore. You gotta explore. Jovan has been here all her life and she never stopped to pay respects to the River King here. Yeah, I always see it when I drive by, but I've never, I always want- Like the sign says, uh, a guy found a, a figurine, an ancient figurine in a river. And this is a very big version of that little figurine. Um, they think it came from the 12th century. Yeah. What is this, Banatsko Vishnichevo? Yeah. Yeah, so this is a World War II Spomenik. Let's see the dates here as we get closer. 1944, 1943. Uh, these would be the names of the people who died fighting the fascists. So right across from the World War II monument is a house loaded with Z's. What could it mean? What does it mean? No stop till Zietischte. Zietischte. Yeah, with... <laughs> You ever see a red cross on a yellow steeple before? No, this is the first time. First time for everything. Yeah. Look, Yovana, look, Yovana. Do you see what I see, Yovana? Do you see what I see? What's on this pedestal here? On this, on what? On what? Oh! 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 oh. <laughs> there it is! Oh! <laughs> oh. <laughs> wow! What a major monument. And who is Lonely Planet to say this is one of the most bizarre monuments in the world? If this village wants Rocky Balboa, and this village has the, the fighting spirit of Rocky, obviously. Look at that. Where are the stairs? I wonder if this town has stairs. We need stairs to run up. 
So the town put Rocky up in 2007. It was built by a Croatian artist. And uh, no one knows why. This town is also famous for uh, mass shootings. The last one was a couple years ago. What do you say, 22 people, 23 people in the hospital, uh, five people killed? Five, five or six people killed yeah. and 20 people injured. So he was aiming for his wife, but killed five people and uh, injured no, 25. he was aiming first for her, then decided to Did he get her? Shoot. Did he yeah, get, he, he got the her, wife. Okay. Decided to shoot everybody yeah. else that was sitting at the cafe because he Be was... Uh, because they were witnesses. Yeah, 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 you got to eliminate the witnesses. Jealous, you know, yeah. so he killed everybody. <laughs> if you want to learn more about the Rocky statue, you can find a documentary online called America Idol by a Canadian director and it's documents the events preceding the erection of the statue as well as uh, I hear Sylvester Stallone. Sylvester Stallone makes a cameo and the guy who built the statue in Philadelphia. So you heard it here first. St. George slaying the dragon. So this snack has been around since uh, the 90s. I think so. I mean, ever since I was little, we would eat like only this stuff. So we're here in Kleck, and this is a 1975 Spomanik monument to victory over fascism. And uh, Jovena, yeah. you recognize these yellow bricks? Uh, it's the. Like the Hungarian brick yeah. or the German brick? Or They're from Hungary. From Hungary, yeah. yeah. They used to have that uh, in Warsaw all across the sidewalk, but they took it out. I don't know why. I really like the look of it. They're slippery. They're really wet. slippery, yeah. What is this? What is this? This is the factory that produces my favorite mayonnaise. Favorite mayonnaise. You take your mayonnaise very seriously here. Very seriously. This is the only one that is allowed to be eaten in my household. What's it called? Diamant. Diamant. That guy over there is like, what the fuck are they doing? He's just standing there and <laughs> watching us for minutes. He doesn't understand a pilgrimage to a mayonnaise factory. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Instant flood. The first pub in town. See that? So you want to eat here, have a burger yeah, here, have some of their homebrew? I would brew. love to, but they don't have power, so we can eat only if they get power. But for sure so these are supposed to be the best burgers in uh, Zrenjanin, I guess. Supposed to. We are going to try them now. This is where the magic happens. We have to have more than this. I don't know. <laughs> All right, what beer are we bringing home? Golden Balls. That's the bitter one. Yeah, right? that one. And genius. Genius. There he is, Tesla, the American Austrian genius. Hey, <laughs> that's not right. <laughs> Welcome to Sachanya again. Heading back to Urshad. That's another World War II Spomanik. We're back driving through Plandishte, and uh, a new bar just opened up two weeks ago or so. It's called Shelby. You know, Peaky Blinders. <laughs> yeah, she didn't watch it, but I think that's... But I, I know I, yeah, what it is. Yeah. Peaky Blinders in Serbia. This place has everything. What did I tell you? Shelby. <laughs> How'd you like your experience at Shelby? Oh, yeah, yeah, it's good. <laughs> great Coke? Great, uh, great, yeah. Slow down. Cars passing by. I know, but, but that's different than being... There it goes. There's an owl. That's what an owl looks like. And... Hey, remember when I said you could set the lake on fire? You're going to see. Jake is going to demonstrate. Oh! So this is due to sulfur. Yeah. Sulfur. The sulfur. Sulfur, sulfur burn. Like, it's like, yeah. a, like a little, uh, like a little <laughs> flamethrower. <laughs> All right, Jake. Jake couldn't get the job done to the uh, the extent we wanted to, so we we called we called a real local here to show us how to light the lake on fire. No, yeah, no. You, bring, you didn't bring a lighter. No. Okay. Huh. You knew, you, uh, there we go. You get it wet. You got it wet. Three smokers with one lighter. So Seriously. the, the problem's been diagnosed. It's that we don't have a lighter. 
So it's no, not even lighter. sparking. There's a there's a gas pump like nearby. I, I don't want to get a lighter. So we went to a gas station. We bought a we bought a new lighter. I didn't do this for a long, long time. Well, you're the one All right, David. Fucking. Oh. That's it. <laughs> That's you why. That's why we bring a local. Oh, yeah. look at that! Look at this. <laughs> yeah, the only problem Lake is I don't know. Lake's on fire! <laughs> no, I brought something. Oh, you brought something. That's good. Oh, you're trying to put it out. <laughs> okay, yeah. <laughs> well, let's just let it burn a little bit. Why is everyone? Because we don't know what happens if it burns for a long time. Nothing. What happens? We get a water. <laughs> you always go now for you the big one. <laughs> <laughs> it's not working. <laughs> yeah, this is how you get this, it. This is how we get burned. <laughs> yeah. And I'm mind burning. All right, now let's just make a quick exit. <laughs> <laughs> no, 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 no. no. There you go. Well done. Well done. <laughs>